Hi everyone. So in this case we're being asked to apply the, the transformations that you're seeing here to the function x squared minus 4 and we're going to identify the domain and range and state any invariant points that might exist here. Now this one right here, what we're seeing, now bear in mind that negative can be over here on the x here and when it's on the x that's a, that's a vertical reflect, sorry, ugh. it's a horizontal reflection over the vertical axis, okay, so it's, it's a reflection over the y axis. And the fact that we've swapped the x and the y here refer, uh, refers to an inverse. Now it turns out the order here doesn't really matter. Okay, so let's talk about it like this. Let's, let's work from what we did in the previous question here and let's just think about reflecting this over the, over the y axis. Okay, so if I've got x is greater than or equal to negative 4, if you flip that, over the y axis here, this is now going to be x is less than or equal to positive 4. Okay, now bear in mind what I'm doing is I'm just applying this transformation to the function above it. Uh, when, you, when you reflect the, the range here, okay, because it was all reals, that reflection won't do anything. So it's going to stay all reals. Okay, now we're going to look at the invariant points here, but here's the thing. Um, the invariant point in this particular case would have to be a point that was on the y-axis here. Now, the invariant points under the, the, re, uh, sorry, the inverse reflection were these two guys right here. Neither one of those shows up on the y-axis, so there will be no invariant point here. In fact, the only way you could get an invariant point with this kind of combination would be as if the graph went through the origin. Uh, that would that would be an invariant point, but nothing does here. So that's that's the answer that we're looking for.